Submarine terror. I can't ever confirm if when I come across these games, I can't ever like confirm that they're Iron Lung inspired, but it always, it really seems like it. Like I would love, uh, it does look like it lets you skip ahead to the second. Oh, is that what that was? The mission? Yes, I think you're right. You're right. So that's probably that, that whole open, like that whole level there is probably the rest of the game. Huh. Yeah, I might actually play that on my own. Might. I, the problem is there's so many games and so comparatively little time. There's like there's so many good games. Um, your favorite Iron Lung clone is Das Boot. Yeah, so like games like this, like if we go to the store page, like I can't you can't confirm that it's an Iron Lung like that it was inspired by Iron Lung, but then it has like points that it hits where I'm like, I didn't see games doing exactly those sort of things until iron lung so i like to believe it was uh just because that's i i think it's it's like that's one of the um one of the highest compliments is when someone isn't like inspired enough by your game to make something similar to it when they otherwise wouldn't have um so compact submarine and there's a nameless creature and there's like there's the cameras um in the compass there's uh yeah i don't know it's just stuff where it's like it's not an iron lung clone but i'm like i surely that has to be iron lung inspired i hope anyway let's play it uh t pretty terse setting menu is this oh that's volume and it was by default at zero that's not ideal okay Several months ago, a sinister shadow claimed the lives of two military submarines, dragging them into the unfathomable depths of the ocean. Suspicion hangs heavy on an aquatic entity of unparalleled terror. Your mission, plunge into the treacherous abyss aboard a small submarine and extract ooh, <laughs> and extract knowledge on this nameless creature without becoming its, its next victim. A few positions have been provided to aid your investigation. See, and there's points of interest you have to go to. Uh, some may offer insight, while others may lead to your demise. Oh, what happened? What happened? What did I miss? Graves. Graves uh, gifting five tier one subs to the community. Thank you, Graves. Much appreciated. That's awesome. Uh, good luck. All right. Whoa, what do we go? <laughs> There's a lot here. Uh, vertical movement. Hold control to descend and shift to ascend. Good. Okay. Oh, I can go out of the submarine. I'm going to screenshot this. I really hope there's an in-game... Uh, <laughs> controls everything, exactly. <laughs> uh, I really hope that there is an in-game reference for all of this, because I am not going to remember all of this. Oh, I can adjust the sensitivity with arrow keys. Oh, for light. Outline buttons. Okay, some of this is pretty is pretty standard. Others, other things, not as much. Down we go. Wow, sixteen subscribers. That's awesome. I, that is way more than I've been at. <laughs> Thank you very much. Remember key for exterior key. Yeah, everyone in chat remember one of the controls. And then, oh good, pressing escape opens opens the controls. Okay. Um, I am in place. Oh, I see. Okay. So that turns. And then that cycles between cameras. It's It's unclear what that does. Coordinates don't appear to be moving. So I'm not quite sure what those do quite yet. Uh, w and S don't move me forward. 
I would imagine that this turns the sub, but I can't be sure. Yeah, I don't know if that infographic is actually showing me stuff or if it's just for decoration. Turning valves with your mind, yeah. You, you volunteer to be in charge of what the W key does. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's look at the controls again. Exterior cameras is C. Ah, okay. That's how I can see. That's a school of fish. Something. Oh, there's a... What does that do? It doesn't seem like anything. Why does my strap keep appearing and disappearing? What is this? Also unclear. These different cameras you switch between are cool. All right, what was switch rooms? You should try the game That Which Gives Chase. Yes, that's been on my back my backlog for a while. Was your head turn? Yeah, so um, you can uh, you can look around with the cameras. Uh, what was change room? Um, change submarine room is space. Okay. Can I walk around? No, you can't move around the rooms. Interesting. I can go out of the sub. It's a big thing. Is that the creature? It's moving, I think, unless the whole screen image is moving. What's that? Do I have a... Do I have a light? L. Shoot. Did I lose the sub? <laughs> uh oh. Where did the submarine go? I have. Uh oh. I am lost. What was. Uh. Rotation is uh, scan. Hmm. How do I get back to the sub? Ah, uh, this may be. What's the hype? What is a hype chest, Twitch? Okay, I'll open the hype chest. What does that do? It uh, gave me an emote. Okay, cool. Oh, is it running an ad right now? It is. Okay, I think this should be... This should be the last ad, I think. No, oh, there's another one. I'm, I promise I will go in and mess with the ad settings and see if I can make that less obtrusive. Okay. So I've completely lost my submarine now. Ah! Submarine. Is that what this? Oh, that's what the scan did. Okay, nice. Let's go back in. Ooh, all right. And what does this do? <laughs> Why is that? Why? Why is that a button? It, okay, let's try. <laughs> what? So, can, why is there? Hi for info. Oh, in oh, okay. This will tell it. I should have pressed that more than not at all. Um, so that's okay. So that's the cockpit then. And this is emergency use only. Why would they, why would they have that? <laughs> uh, okay. I right. change camera toggle outside light. Oh, I do have an interior light as well that I can toggle on and off. So, okay, there's like a light on the bottom now. That might, might be useful for me as a diver here. Let's see, that's on the bottom, right? Yeah, maybe not as useful on the, on the sub right now, at least. I still haven't moved the sub. <laughs> In case of emergency, die. 
Why, what emergency would you ever use that in? Um, that's the power on motor. That's a temporary boost. This, that's just decoration for... Uh, yeah, actually, let me go outside. Oh, okay. Ooh, a boat. Is there anything useful in the boat? Not seeing much of anything. That, that is a, hey, I don't know what that is. What were those numbers? Which numbers? These numbers? I will say, I don't know why the diver is able to emit a sonar ping. Isn't there something where it's like, um... Oh, th thank you for clipping that, uh, Madman. <laughs> that, that, that was great. Um, isn't there some like, sonar pings are actually incredibly loud. Like, if you were in the water and hit by a sonar ping, it would, like, destroy you. Isn't that a thing? Or am I making that up? Anyway, uh, back to this. So I guess I should probably try moving the sub around, huh? Sonar pings are deadly, yeah. Okay, so I didn't make that up. That's really cool and also terrifying. Good or, I mean, that's a great idea for a for a scene in a, a some sort of there's man there is so much potential for like submarine horror that hasn't been tapped i know there's been a few and i know obviously there's iron lung but like oh what was that movie below does anyone m remember the movie below um it was actually really cool it had some um it had some really bad like cgi uh, for some of the scares. I guess not too. It could have been worse, but it, um, that was a really cool movie. And that really tried to do do the whole, like, isolated, like, bottom of the ocean is scary sort of thing. Sonar ping is oodles louder. Okay. It's really, that's a, that's a cool scene idea for something. Like, I guess I was thinking of Below because there's a, um, there's a moment where they have to, oh, oh, what is it? I haven't seen it in years. I think they have to go outside of the sub, um, or no, that wouldn't make sense because I think they're too far down. They would get crushed. Or is it like inside the, it's somewhere where they have to be underwater, like maybe in a ballast or something. I'm not sure. Um, and someone gets killed, obviously, uh, by like a, I think their head gets hit. But I was just thinking that would be a crazy, that would be a crazy death scene. Get killed by sonar. Sub horror would be cool made in the 80s with crazy practical sets. Nowadays it'd be too green screeny. Yeah, I mean... Obviously I'm like going to be way biased here because I was just part of making a submarine horror movie. But like to my mind it's like you'd have the sub and you'd have the practical subset. And you really wouldn't have to have that much outside of the sub, because all of the horror is like the fact that you're trapped inside and the fact that outside is just such a deadly environment. Um, but anyway, let's let's actually play the game here. So power on the motor. Wait, why is. Why did this? That's weird. There was like a sound, but then it stopped when I powered on the motor. Huh. Oh, there's some, yeah, there's some bugs here. Yeah, that's understandable though. One of the, oh, now it's turning. All right, okay. One of the struggles as a, cause I'm, I believe this is, here, let me, I don't know if I can alt tab out. Okay, never mind. I believe this is a fair like this is a very indie indie game. Um 
And one of the struggles is just like testing, like how to like finding people to test it and finding enough people that you're able to actually find bugs. Every notable underwater thing in a movie has at least two to three trivia entries about people almost dying while filming. Yeah, ocean's scary. Or under any sort of big body of water is scary. Why is this? Oh, the sub has a little bit of drift to it. That's odd. Huh. Um. seeing it's a little hard to know what cameras these are like that's obviously on the side of the sub oh, it's yeah it's a little hard to know what the orientation of them is also okay what are the other controls um turn to the surface to stop the game is there not a map or any i have high for information Objectives is tab. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Um, all right, depth of so <laughs> so they did do depth early when I was working on Iron Lung. The first design had depth in it, and then I very quickly, because of the way the, the way navigation works in Iron Lung, I very quickly decided that having depth control was not a good idea. For Iron Lung, it's probably fine in this case, but like for Iron Lung, it, uh, I decided just having the two axes to worry about was enough. Uh, anyway, let's go to one of these. It's scary how space is more welcoming than the ocean. Yeah, the ocean is is messed up. Very cool because it's so messed up. So is the drift because is that just sort of like supposed to be natural drifting while underwater? Oh, hey, we got some fishies. Hello, fishies. Anyway, uh, map. Uh, depth of three, depth of 330, X1275, Y negative 520. Okay, and now I get to try and figure out <laughs> this navigation system. Um, now I have to go through the thing that I made everyone else go through, which is trying to remember, oh, okay, how did they, how does this work? Um, okay, yeah, actually this will be pretty simple. So I'm at, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go further in X and lower in Y. Although I may be, these, these aren't really in necessarily in order, right? So I might be closer to a different one. Maybe not, I'll just go to the, well, What's uh? Why is okay? The all of yeah. We'll just go to this first one. Um. Yeah, there, that's right. There were mines out there. Hmm. Um. Okay. So X needs to go up and Y needs to go down. So, oh, I do have a limited oxygen. Okay. Yeah, why does it correct like that? Does it automatically go back to, like you can't go halfway between two things? No, it's just sort of drifting back. No, I wanna, I wanna go this way. There we go. Finally catching it. Yeah, we're, uh, I'll be live for about 25 more minutes and then I'm gonna have to head out and get my daughter. I can go into a camera view while moving. All right. This is not the best cam. Okay, this will help me figure out which camera is the forward camera. Maybe, I think, okay, I think that's pointing forward. Uh, that's to let's start. Oh, there's only three of them. Okay, that's on the top. Is that also? 
Oh, it's a little hard to tell if that's forward or not. I should... Right, I have depth to worry about, so I should be going down also. Oh no, that's ascending, not descending. Whoops. X is still... Yeah, my coordinates are still... Whoop. Did I hit the bottom? Or something hit me. Either I hit the bottom or something hit me. I might have hit the bottom. Like an idiot. Uh, is the light off? Yeah, I can't tell if the light is off or on. There's a there's a bit of a animation bug there. It looks like. Um, am I? I'm trying to descend more. I can't quite tell if I am or not. I think I am. I could figure out if the light was on. Hmm. Yeah, I am descending. Yeah, okay. So instead of the instead of instead of the proximity alerts, like an iron lung, I guess, um, I just, I need to go by actual visuals. Oh, there's, yep. Okay, well, I do, I did appear to hit that and it didn't really do anything. So maybe I don't have to be too concerned about running into things. Either that or I just got really close to it and managed to avoid hitting it somehow. Um, yeah, I'm not going the right way. Need to be going... This way. What did my depth need to be? Uh, 3.30. So I'm actually too low down right now. So I can ascend a little bit. What about a game like this, but you're on one of those glass bottom floors? <laughs> That would, yeah, would that be scarier or less scary? I don't know. This developer has two other games on Steam, both named Refund Me If You Can, daring people to beat them in two hours. Interesting. That's a, uh, that, uh, that, that's a unusual approach. <laughs> see some stuff down below um, and we need to get to 1275 and 520 so actually a little turn a bit more this way Is it 120 or 520 not 120 I don't know what those bars are is that my health maybe it says no it doesn't say Turn a bit more this way. Um, yeah, but 1275. That's right. Might as well take a look here. I'm a little unclear what the point is of the multiple cameras.
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the... Maybe it helps for... Um, maybe it helps for, like, avoiding collision at some parts. Um, oh, okay. We're... Hold on. Um, the Y was, what, negative 520, so we're past that. And two five, so... Let's actually do this. Should get right back to it. And then it, uh, we're a little too high up on depth, too. Um, although we are close enough, that, yeah, 125 and 520, um, we are getting close enough that I might just head out in my scuba gear. Oh, that is a proximity detector, isn't it? I shut this off, do I stop immediately? Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Actually, let's check the cameras first. Yeah, I think that's a proximity alert. How close am I? Oh, one, two, seven, five. So not quite there on X. Not quite there on Y. Hmm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to adjust a little more. Maybe if I ascend. Maybe if I ascend. Oh, exit. Oh, here we go. Exit the submarine to find the first clue. All right. Outside of the submarine. There's the first clue. I can still hear the the blooping of the submarine. Or some first clues at least. Maybe not even clues. Whoa, oh, a shark! Why is there a shark in there? Oh, well, I'm glad I, I could release the shark, poor thing. Something there. Oh, you found the first clue. Okay, cool. Yeah, poor shark. Sharks get such a bad rap. And then there. Oh, the beeping stopped, so that may not be proximity. That might just be a clue indicator. Then we have... I did not mean to... <laughs> I didn't mean to get that close to the mine. Oops. All right, let's try again. Same coordinates? Yep, same coordinates. That's a shame. Um, all right, let's do this again, I guess. Here and start forward. Let's see what we woo. Oh wow. That goes how long does this last? Oh that long apparently. Okay. Uh uh I should make use of that then. Oh, okay, I guess my wife is going to pick up Lavender since she's already out. So, I don't need to leave immediately at the- but honestly, I'm probably gonna cut this off at 2.30, because that will have given this almost exactly 45 minutes. Okay. Okay, was that me hitting something? No, I think that was just an event. Okay, well, what happened? Hold on. Now we. Now I'm curious. What would happen if I was looking at the cameras when that occurred?
Marble Hornets logo on the monitor? What is the Marble Hornets logo? I have I have never watched Marble Hornets. Okay, we're right there. We're there for Y, so we just need to just X. X over the circle thing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> cool. We'll adjust Y a little bit also. I guess this is a ad's about to start, but I guess this is a good time for the ad because I'm just sort of just sort of getting to the location. Was it one two seven five? Yeah, this is actually. I think this might be the first, like, Iron Lung type game that I've played, uh, aside from Iron Lung, of course. Uh, that could actually, that might be interesting to do. Just, okay, okay, there we go. Almost exactly where, well, except for depth. Depth isn't there, so. Um, that might be an interesting stream to do at some point, just doing a bunch of like the iron lung type games and yeah yeah lixian did a uh, sinking iron which i don't think is much like iron lung is it okay we're getting close i don't know i haven't i haven't played it i should all right oh what happened what happened Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Did I hit a mine, I guess? I must have hit a mine. Huh. All right, let's do this again. Head this way. Make use of the boost. And there's Iron Lung VR, yeah. I think there's also, didn't they recreate Iron Lung in Roblox? I think I gave permission for that at some point. I, in the, in the, uh, it, after that, I kicked, I was I've kind of been like, ah, uh, cause the actual smart thing to do would have been to hire somebody to do an official port of Iron Lung to Roblox. Oh, I forgot to look on the monitor to see if we could see that. Oh, well. Um, that would have been the actual smart thing to do, and then, like, split the revenue with them instead of just letting someone else do it, but whatever. I... There are constantly things where I'm like, I could... I could get some money out of this, but that takes effort, and I kind of just don't care. <laughs> That's one of those things where it was like... Eh, just whatever. Go or Iron Lung VR too. Where it's like, could I maybe like like I could contract someone to do? Maybe I could contract this as an official thing, and then it's just like, eh, I kind of, I it's I'm, I'd rather put my time and energy into other stuff. Ads still in progress. How many ads did you get this time, uh, Idiovic? You didn't get any. Interesting. They're finally showing mercy to you. But yeah, apparently Roblox is a really lucrative platform. Um, like you could you can make a ton of money on there, I guess. Um. Yes, that's the other thing is like I just personally don't have interest in Roblox. Uh not like I don't have anything against it. I'm just like I I don't play it. I don't have an interest in that infra in that like ecosystem. So um 
So it's like, I don't know. I... Like, I could... I, again, that would be like a... I'd hire someone to do it. Because I wouldn't... I wouldn't, like, learn to make Roblox things to do it myself. Because I just... That's not my... That's, that's just not my... My ecosystem. Um... And then at that point, it's like, uh, that's kind of not what I do. Like, I'm not like a businessy producer sort of person. Like, I just, I like making stuff and being able to make a living making. Oh, uh, let's stop. That's, that's plenty deep enough. Um, and being able to make a living making stuff is all the, you know, all the better. And I, I do like making money because you need money to live. Um, but then on the other hand, also like, I'm not really about when it, when it's something like that where it's like this isn't even really my scene. Eh, I kind of don't care about maximizing the profits. I might care in you know five or ten years. What? Whoa! What just happened there? I think I just clipped through the environment. Did I? Oh, what is? Uh, I think the sub is inside the environment. Oops. So. I would say pretty definitively that there's <laughs> that um, there's no collision with environments. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I got. I, I mean, to be clear, I have nothing against Roblox, and, and not like I'm saying like, oh, that's not a real gaming platform or whatever. It's like if you can make games on it that people want to play, it's that's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's not really my scene. You should tow it outside the environment. <laughs> yeah, well, there's your problem. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is Roblox uh, not what it used to be? So if I hit those chains, I wonder if it sets them off. There you go, shark. Poor shark. Uh, so now let's go get that thing. Uh, it's just... It's a similar thing with mobile, where I just, there we go. Oh, something grabs it for me, cool. Where I just don't, be, be free shark, yeah. Um, I'm just not much of a mobile gamer. I play, I play games on my phone occasionally. Like, I don't know, every few months I'll remember that that's possible and I'll be like, oh, maybe, I'll, be, I'll see if I, you know, how Mighty Doom has been doing, or like, or whatever. Um, but like, I know it's it's a it's a huge market, and I probably could do well porting games to that, or and I still might like have games ported to it. But it's just something that doesn't enter into my brain immediately, I guess, because I don't know. I make game like I. I make the games and I put them out on Steam, and then at that point, it's like I I am not personally interested in doing the other steps. Like I like I'm not going to port them myself for things like that because I'm just not. That's not something I enjoy doing. Um, I I contract people to port them because I like I want. Um, and I guess that's a roundabout way of also saying that yes, I am working on or by me I mean. People, other people, are, we, we are working on uh, ports for, you know, like Xbox and things like that for uh, Iron Lung and um, Chop Goblins and, and those games. Uh, but it's something that's like not top of my personal priority list to do because then it's like the game's out, it's on Steam. Usually they do what I think they're going to do and so they are like making money and then I kind of just want to move on to making the next thing and not really a lot worry a lot about monetizing it in that way. Like, I still, I want to be clear, like, you do have to be a little money grubbing to make a living doing games. It's like, I, I put my games on sale constantly, not because I love putting them on sale, but because it's like, well, that will make, that will maximize the amount of money I make from them. Um, but also... Yeah. Anyway, this I'm rambling. I don't I don't know that anyone actually cares about this as much as I'm rambling about it. Uh, let's get out of the environment. <laughs> so right there, that right there that just happened. This is why the Iron Lung sub is uh is 
a separate room somewhere else that doesn't actually go through the environment in Iron Lung. You could avoid this. Uh, I guess you could avoid this by like having it be on a separate rendering layer. Uh, I don't. I felt that it was just easier to like make that a thing of room somewhere that doesn't move, and then there's not going to be any clipping issues or any weird stuff like that or things going through the sub when they're not supposed to. Um, anyway, what time are we at? Oh, we only have about four minutes left. Uh, so I'm probably not going to make it to the next, <clears throat> the next point of interest. <laughs> I think we have a breach in the hull. I'm curious. So is there just no collision with the environment? <laughs> this is, this is kind of, honestly, that's kind of scary to see. It's just like, yep. That's interesting. You got Squirrel Stapler on Christmas because it was on sale. Yeah, usually, I think most people buy, uh, most people, most people buy games when they're on sale. I know I do. Like, most of the time, that's when I'm buying games. Um, so I put stuff regularly on sale because I do have enough games now that I can kind of cycle through them and have one on sale basically all the time. Um, even with the cooldown period, and so I do that because that kind of benefits everybody. People have more chances to get my games on sale, and I have more chances where the games are making on-sale money. It consumes the sub, yeah. Oh, yeah, exterior camera key is C. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I heard something. So, yeah, this is, this is actually pretty neat. I'm... I'm a little perturbed by the ship just clipping through the environment. Um, but other than that, I like some I like the ideas here of like it's it's real time cameras instead of like a still camera. So can I go through the environment here too? Let's go down and see. Um, I like the idea of you like getting in and out of the sub brings a, an interesting dynamic to it. The atmosphere is uh, probably pretty good without Twitch chat rambling about Roblox. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it has a it, it. It seems pretty neat. I I am. I would be fascinated to know why I can go through the terrain, though. <laughs> In fact, that's probably I'm gonna probably end by going down and seeing seeing if I can clip through all of that below. Am I actually getting close, closer? Closer. I can't tell if I'm actually getting closer to that or if... I mean, the depth is going down. X is also changing. Hey! You can actually see it. Fun. It was a was it a giant shark? It didn't swim like a whale. So was it was it a giant and make a what are those called? Mega big whatever the big sharks are, the prehistoric ones. <clears throat> no, the just cycling games on sale is actually smart. Thank you. I try to be smart sometimes. I did that for a while with, um, am I getting, getting close to something? Are we getting close to, I can't tell what any of this is, which is probably intentional. Yeah, I think that's terrain, right? So I'm getting close to. This terrain I seem to be colliding with, I think. Oh, no, no, I think I went through the terrain, didn't I? Let's see inside the sub. Hmm. 
It is unclear. This reminds me of that game you made called Iron Long that you made. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that Frankenstein's monster game I played? Uh, Hunkenstein. Yep, that's still installed. I looked at it today and I was like, should I do a Hunkenstein part two? And then I decided not to, but it's still on the table. It may happen. We will see. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the stream for today. I don't know what is happening outside of the sub here. It's just drifting everywhere. Um, that will be the stream. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, it's just to exit, I have to surface. So I'll start moving back up to the surface. When I talk. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this format. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I really like going through and like finding weird games that just that just released. Uh, I thought that was really fun on my end, and it's fun to play them and just see what comes up. I wonder if Boost works on... Boost does not work on uh, Ascent and Descent. Okay. Um, so I probably will do this again at some point. I'm not sure when. Obviously, Friday is Dark Souls 2 day, and it's going to continue that way as long as Dark Souls 2 remains unfinished. Um, but... Yeah, I think I will definitely do this again. Uh, I'm going to probably experiment with actually downloading the VOD and like cutting this up into three different videos for YouTube. What I've been doing before is just sort of straight exporting the VOD to YouTube um, for some things. Uh, I'll experiment with like turning this into three videos and see. Well, I like I have no idea what I'm doing with the YouTube channel. Um, right now, I'm just dumping streams on it and making like video like the Butcher's Creek gameplay trailer and stuff whenever they're needed. I'm hoping that doesn't long term harm the channel and make everyone sick and tired of it and not want to watch it because <laughs> you missed the rant channel. Yeah, I have I have kept that in mind that I probably should do more like uh, talking videos since people seem to enjoy them. My main goal is with both the YouTube channel and this, the the Twitch channel, is um, I mean, I have I have no interest in being like YouTube or Twitch famous. That actually sounds horrible to me, <laughs> and I don't think that would ever happen. I, I don't think I uh, would be able to do that. Have what it takes to do that. But with me not being on Twitter much any anymore, I'm kind of hoping that these can work as the you know community engagement. Um, which is basically just to say keeping, you know, stuff for you guys to watch and keeping in contact with you guys and just keeping that going because I think that's very important. And I put all my eggs in one in like the, the Twitter basket and then Twitter did what Twitter's been doing the last <laughs> few years. Um, so, yeah, I, I really like streaming. I think that suits me better, but I want to figure out what to do with YouTube also. Um, and having the stream VODs has been a very easy thing to dump onto YouTube, but I haven't quite figured that. Yeah, I haven't quite figured YouTube out. <laughs> like what what that uh, what I can do with that. That would be like entertaining content for people. You could do both one channel for just straight VODs and one for more edited ones. Yeah, I've been wondering about that also. Is that the sh the the big shark or whale or whatever it is? No. Um. I didn't do that initially because there weren't that like there aren't that many viewers on my main channel anyway, so I figured that I was Alt G R to surface. Alt G? What is G R? <laughs> I don't know what G R is. Well, I guess we're Alt F4 ing then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, any uh, left alt. Alt GR is the right side alt key. Is it? I've never heard that before. Huh. Okay. Oops. Left alt is normal alt and then right alt is alt GR. Okay. I learn something new every day. Um, yeah. Anyway, I thought about doing that and kind of didn't just because I figured that the like, I wasn't really, like, the channel needed stuff anyway. 
But yeah, now I'm thinking more about maybe I should do that and branch it off. We'll see. And anyone who is, if this video goes up on YouTube, uh, I would love comments from people who are watching on YouTube as to like what you would like to see. Um, Cause yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing with, <laughs> with either of these things. Um, your current keyboard has an alt. Yeah. Mine just both say alt. I have one of those, uh, gamer TM keyboards though. Channel may never reach the peaks of I made a glass shader. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that'll be it for the stream again. Thank you for coming and I will see you guys on the next stream. Bye.